This is Genesis chapter 41 and verse 52. And the name of the second called he Ephraim. For Yahweh have caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Barak for Yahweh, Barak for Yahushai, Barak for Yahweh, Barak for Yahushai, Barak for Yahweh, Barak for Yahushai. Oh, praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Akadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shah is the true name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Double honor surpasses and honors a great millstone. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consists of the so called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. And if you do not look like a typical Black, Hispanic, or Native American, you can still be an Israelite, all right? Of course, if you believe in this 100% word, you're drawn to it, no doubt about it, and you fit the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. You accept this word, the 100% word, which comes out of the camp of Great Millstone. All right? So your spirit bears witness that you're an Israelite. So your spirit's proof, it's evidence that you're an Israelite, a child of the Most High. I'm the brother Zakar from the Great Millstone. Plain Tables Camp in Philadelphia, PA. And the topic of this video is going to be the tribe of Ephraim, Puerto Ricans. The tribe of Ephraim, Puerto Ricans. Okay. So let's first start off with the first Ephraim, Ephraimite. Okay. The one of the sons of Joseph, all right, whose name was Ephraim. So this is Genesis chapter 41 and verse 52. And the name of the second called he Ephraim, for Yahweh have caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Okay. So for you so called Puerto Ricans listening, all right, if you heard, if you're stumbling upon this for the first time, you're not a so-called Puerto Rican, okay? That name is a byword. It's a false title for your actual, for who you actually are, okay? Placed upon you by your slave masters, your oppressors, the conquistadors, okay? You weren't speaking Spanish all your life, okay? Well, you weren't speaking Spanish. The so-called Puerto Ricans, that's not the only language they ever knew for their entire existence. The language of Spanish. Okay. The 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. Is the most highest chosen race. And so-called Puerto Ricans are part of the most highest most chosen race. Through indicators from the Bible that points to certain tribes being certain people living today on earth, okay? So that Puerto Rican culture, all right, of worshiping the Roman Catholic Church, of, you know, just being silly and being, um, dying your hair blonde, okay, um, just partying every day, not caring, just, just being simple, that Puerto Rican culture, of just being simple, not knowing who your enemy is, right? Which are the other heathen nations, okay? Outside the nation of Israel, okay? Because the nation of Israel is a chosen nation of the Most High, but there's other nations outside that nation, okay? These 17, all right? The so-called white race, the Caucasians, Edomites, and you got this whole list. These are your enemies, all right. So this is your real heritage is following the law, statutes, the commandments of the Most High. That's a culture. It's not a religion. It's not just a when people say religion, they just think of a, um something you do once a day. All right, you go one day a week to a church, and you pray, you sing, you dance, and you just leave. But no, following the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible is a culture. It's a heritage. Okay. It's a heritage. 
before the conquistadors came and conquered, all right, you so-called Hispanics, you were speaking Hebrew, okay? That's a broken form of Hebrew. That's the language of the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? Not English, not Creole, not Portuguese like Brazilians speak, not Spanish, not Jamaican Patois, okay? Hebrew, all right? The Lashon Kandash, ancient Hebrew. That's the heritage, okay, you need to come back to. Because if you don't come back, it's not, and it's not, it's not a choice. Because the Most High, if you do not follow the way he wants you to, if you don't follow the guidelines he wants you to follow as being an Israelite, he's going to put you to death. All right? It's just simple. Okay? He's going to put you to death if you don't follow the ways he wants you to follow. All right? So the Puerto Rican lifestyle, all these lifestyles on this side, okay, it leads to death. All right? It leads to being simple and just doing the same routine over and over again, okay? Worshipping false idols, all right? And not worshipping the God of the Bible, okay? So, of course, just a quick overview. So, back to Genesis 41 and verse 52. The name of the second son called he Ephraim, for Yahweh have caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. So, Ephraim... If you get the meaning of this word, all right, slaki of this name, all right, Hebrew, it means Strong's H669, Ephraim, Ephraim. So Ephraim, okay. It says Ephraim equals double ash heap i shall be doubly fruit doubly fruitful okay so fruitful all right which basically means having a lot of children okay that's what fruitful is okay and so-called puerto ricans are known for having a lot of children all right always getting their wife pregnant and having a lot a big family in a small house in puerto rico Okay, that's what they're known for, all right? And this is not a coincidence, okay? Because the Most High made so-called Puerto Ricans, all right, do this attribute, att attribute, being fruitful, okay? So, of course, Puerto Ricans, all right, they come in different shades, all right? Dark skin, light skin, right? But, of course, a typical shade, just light skin, all right? as of now okay so you got puerto ricans generally this is their look all right but of course due to the conquistadors rape robbing and murdering you so-called puerto ricans all right you have many different looks now okay okay that's sort of called puerto ricans with blonde hair all right I mean, blonde hair is leprosy according to the bible all right but still you're you can, you're still of course an Israelite, all right. You just need to believe in this word, okay, and have faith, all right. And not and you're not faking it when you believe in this word. It's sincere. It's hundred percent true, okay. This is Romans chapter eight and verse sixteen. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. So the spirit, okay, is this word, all right? That's the Holy Spirit, okay? It's this word. These precepts in this Bible, okay, this message, this gospel, gospel meaning good news, that's the spirit, okay? It says itself bear for witness with our spirit, okay? So bearing witness, being proof, being evidence, okay, with our spirit, that we are the children of the Most High, okay? So, indicators in the Bible prove that these people on the right, okay, are the children of who you call God, all right? Plain as day, okay? I'm going to get them, 
All right, but of course, for this video specifically targeting you so called Puerto Ricans. All right, so next precept is Deuteronomy chapter 28, okay, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. So if you weren't going to listen to the Most High, all right, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay? So curses, all right, not a blessing, a curse, all right, are going to come upon thee and overtake thee. If you weren't going to hearken unto the commandments and statutes of the Most High. All right. And majority of Israelites today are not doing that. They're a majority of so-called black Spanish Native Americans who are wicked. All right. And it's not, there's nothing new under the sun. Okay. Majority of the Israelites back in the time of Egypt. All right. Were wicked. Okay. In the wilderness. All right. They were wicked. Okay, so all of Israel had to go into under captivity, all right? And as of now, in America, all right, under the so-called white man, the nation of Israel is under captivity. We are cursed. Just because you can go have a barbecue, you can go parade or around in New York City, you can drive a, a new car you bought, um, Honda Civic, you can go to church. You can go um, get some woman at a party. Doesn't It still doesn't mean you're not cursed as a whole. The nation of Israel is cursed as a whole, so-called black Spanish and Americans. We're at the bottom of society, living in ghettos. A lot, the majority, basically, the conditions of these Latin American countries in South America, Mexico, East Coast in the ghetto, all right? It's poor conditions. Plain as day, it's poor conditions, all right? Living in the jungle like most Negroes would say, all right? It's just poor conditions. First fired, last hired. They, they, um, the cops discriminate you for no damn reason if you don't even do a crime, Okay? Just that's being cursed, all right. So, let me get some curses to indicate, all right, that so called that you so called Puerto Ricans, all right, you're cursed, all right, whether you, you want to believe it or not, all right. So, let's get Deuteronomy chapter 20. Get Deuteronomy 28 verse 30. It says, Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shall not gather the grapes thereof. Okay, so it says, Thou shalt betroth a wife. Okay, so you have a wife, all right, and that's your wife, okay? And another man shall lie with her, okay? During the time of the conquistadors coming, to you so-called Puerto Ricans, all right? They're raping your woman, all right? And that's real history. They're raping your woman. It wasn't, when people say rape, rob, and murder, it's not It's not like it didn't actually happen. Coming into where you were dwelling and raping your wife. That's what these Spaniards did, okay? So that's, that's a punishment for being cursed, all right? Well, that's that, that that just shows you're cursed. All right. It doesn't show you're blessed. If all these things happen to your your whole race of people as a whole, that means you're going under curses, according to the Bible. All right. And this fit so-called black Hispanics, Native Americans. And it didn't just happen to Puerto Ricans. It happened to all the tribes. All right. So let's get another precept. This is Deuteronomy 28 and verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Okay? So, an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. 
So among all the other 17 nations, all right, they basically have, let's get the word, the word proverb, okay, Hebrew word is. Strong's H, 49.12, Mashal, Mashal. So Mashal, okay. Slaki, let's get the word. Byword, that's the point. Okay. The Hebrew word is Strong's H eighty one forty eight. Shenina. Shenina. So Shenina. Okay. Word by word. It says a sharp word. Sharp cutting word taunt. Okay, so a taunt. So these other seventeen nations, all right, they have a taunt. For you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans from every tribe, okay, they have a taunt, all right, uh, for you Hispanics, they call you um, spicks and wetbacks, all right, that's a taunt, okay, they think you're a lazy uh, monkey, all right, that's a taunt, all right, they think you're a uh, um, uh, these other heathen nations think we basically don't have anything in our brain. They were just stupid, lazy creatures. All right. And that's how they feel about you. That we, you just party and bullshit all day. And you don't know how to um, live life to, to um, better. They, they basically think you can't better. Um, you can't. Um, what's the word? Grow into society the right, correct way through knowledge. All right. They basically think you're a stupid animal. Okay, all these people on this sign, all right, and that's so that's a taunt, all right. They call so-called Negroes niggas, all right. They call them uh, monkeys as well, all right. Coons, okay. All these words, and there's way more words, all right. But I'm just getting, I'm just saying the beginning, I'm just saying the top, the t um, the top of the iceberg, whatever, okay. So let's go back to. The curses, all right. So let's get some more. Let's go to the point. Verse 45, it says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hast hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord thy power. To keep his commandments and his statutes which he command thee. And they shall be a sign and for a wonder upon thy seat forever. Okay? So a sign and wonder. So you can know who the Israelites are. Okay? So if these people are going through the curses in Deuteronomy 20, chapter, verse 15, all the way to 68. Okay? Whatever people around the world are going through that specifically. All right? Exactly. Okay, those are the Israelites, all right? Just being just, and that's common, not, that's just being, having a logical mind frame, all right? Pointing the curses to see who's Israelites. And you so-called black, Spanish, Native Americans, there's no doubt about it, you go through these curses, all right? So let's get some more. Get Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse 49. And the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar, from the end of the earth, as swift as an eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Okay, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of old, nor show favor to the young. Okay, so your enemy coming, all right, as swift as an eagle. Okay, like I kept saying, these con the conquistadors who came and overtook you, all right. They were being ruthless, all right? Putting your children to death, all right? Raping your woman, all right? Putting you in subjection, all right? Not caring for you like you're the same people, okay? And that was what you would call Spaniards, Europeans, so-called Caucasians, all right? Okay, your enemy, according to the Bible, the nation of Edom, okay? So let's get... A couple more. This is verse 56. The tender and delicate. So I can start at 54. 
It says, so that the man is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Okay, so for you Puerto Ricans listening, what nation of people have fathers who have who sleep with their wives, have children, and just leave them? Okay. What fathers around this world are known for that? So-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right. All these tribes, Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Dominican, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, they're known for having sleeping with their woman and just leaving them, not caring. All right. Not wanting to deal with having children. All right. And you Ephraimites, you're known for being fruitful. Okay. Having a lot of children. Okay. So fathers leaving their children. Okay. To um have a a woman who's raising all these so-called Puerto Ricans in a one um in one household. All right. That's a curse. That's not good. Okay. All right. A household should be with a Husband and a wife, all right? Of course, but the nation of Israel is cursed today. And that points to you so-called Puerto Ricans, all right? No doubt about it. So, let's go back to... This is Deuteronomy chapter 28. And of course, all right, it says, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother, Okay? You so-called Puerto Ricans are known for having rivalries with Mexicans, all right? Which is your same family, okay? You may look a little different, all right? But you're still part of the same family, okay? You're known for having rivalries, Mexican versus Puerto Ricans, all right? You have rivalries against so-called Negroes, okay, in New York, all right? You got Puerto Rican gangs, okay? That's a curse, all right? What people are known for just fighting and attacking and having gang warfare with their own people? Okay, these people on this sign. All right, these people on this sign. Okay, just go back. This is so now I'm gonna get verse 56 the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not venture to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter. And this is plain, straight to the point. All right, you Puerto Rican woman, all right, with your loud yelling and your, you just being a crazy, a crazy, um, I'm, I'm going to put it in words. You're just being a crazy woman to your husband for no reason, okay? That's known for so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American women, all right, to just constantly put traps for their so-called husband, all right, off jealousy, off um, their rage, okay? That's so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American households, all right? You Puerto Rican men know that, all right? You know it, okay? So let's... That's basically the point, all right, of these curses, okay? That's basically the point, all right? So let's get Amos 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, okay? So the Most High, all right, the Israelites leaving the land of Egypt, all right, through the plagues, that the most I sent on the Egyptians, that was so-called Black Spanish Native Americans, all right? It was you people, all right? You so-called people who you call yourself Puerto Ricans, all right, going down the parade, Puerto Rican Day Parade, all right? You were there back then, okay, through reincarnation, all right? But that's a whole different topic, all right? But basically saying you are your forefathers, okay? But that was you in the land of Egypt, serving bondage under Pharaoh, okay? And the Most High allowed the Israelites to flee Egypt in haste, quickly, all right? So that's what the Most High did, giving the Israelites protection during their enemy. It says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, okay? So the Most High knowing the Israelites, 
So what does that mean? Him dealing with them, him giving them the law, statutes, and commandments. He didn't give it to all these other 17 nations. He gave it to the nation of Israel, the Asherala, okay? Because that's the chosen seed line. That's the chosen race. Every 12 tribe, okay? For them to live and better themselves, okay? And be the example of how to live on earth, all right? For all these other 17 nations who are wild brute beasts, okay? It says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So since you're going to break the Most High's law, he's going to punish you just like a father punishes his child. Okay? Just sim It's just simple, plain as day. All right? He's going to punish you for all your iniquities, all your sin on top of sin on top of sin. You transgressing the law. Okay? And sin is the transgression of the law. All right? 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Okay? So now, let's get to Genesis, the 49th chapter, which is spe specific indicators, all right, that point to certain, all right, people living today, all right, what they will be doing, all right, pointing to that we're living the last days. Well, I'm going to get that, that we're living the last days, but certain indicators pointing what tribe is which, okay, in the Bible. Okay, what people living today is which tribe? Okay. And there's... But starting with Genesis chapter 49, all right, I'm going to get other precepts. But this is Genesis... Well, it's like, let's first start proving that this is the last days. Okay, but let me read verse 1. And Jacob called unto his son and said, Gather yourselves together. Okay, so Jacob being the father, all right? Okay, the, the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Okay. Gather yourself together and hear ye sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel your father. Okay. So, all right, Jacob, okay, whose name was changed to Israel. Okay. Telling his sons what's going to befall them in the last days. Okay. Before he died. Okay. He's telling his sons what's going to befall them. All right, what's going to happen to them during the last days, okay? So let's first prove real quick that we're living the last days due to indicators, all right? That the Lord gave, saying, giving to his disciples, all right? And the Lord being who the world called Jesus Christ, all right? When he was in Rome, okay, he gave indicators to his disciples so they can know when would be his coming, to restore the nation of Israel on top, okay? And condemn the wicked of this world, all right? Because the Lord is coming back, all right, with fury, okay? To condemn the wicked of this world. So these are the signs. So this verse read Matthew 24 and 1. And Yehoshai went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yehoshai sent to them, See not all these things. Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Okay, so all the kingdoms, all right, are going to be thrown down and, fe and fall, okay, before the everlasting kingdom of heaven. All right, Yasharala, the kingdom of the Most High, okay? The kingdom where the Israelites are going to be ruling with everlasting righteousness. It says, as as. And as he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be? So they want to know, they want to inquire of the Lord, when shall these things be? What shall be the sign of thy coming? And the end of the world. Not the world actually being destroyed, okay, because the earth is going to abide forever. Okay, that's the most highest creation, all right, the earth. He's not going to just destroy it, all right. But the end of the age, the rulership of the so-called white man, of Caucasians. When will this age end? That's what they want to know. And Yahushua answered and said to them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. So many people saying they're anointed, right? Christ meaning anointed, okay? 
So people thinking they had the anointed truth, that they have their, their pathway, their religions correct. Okay. And there's a lot of different, as of 2020, year of prophecy, deemed by Apostle Tahar a great millstone. There's a lot of different ways and religions and spirituality paths you can go to. Okay. A lot of different paths. All right. People thinking they have the truth when they don't. Okay. Because there's only one truth, all right, but there's many lies. It says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay? So all these things must come to pass. Wars and rumors of wars. So people have war speculation, war talk, all right? People talk about if war is going to break out, okay? Of people talk about um the the necessary requirements and guidelines of war if war actually would break break loose okay people um talk about war um war um devices and war um weapons and such okay their militaries and that's happening in 2020 all right that's happening in these um periods what this world will call um post rome America, okay, it's happening, all right, World War Three, all right, World War One went on, World War Two, of course, but there's there's lots of talk about World War Three, okay, it says, for nation shall rise against nation, okay, and like I said, there's 18 nations according to the Bible, all right, not every country is their own nation, all right, and a uh, different specific type of people, that's not true, okay, there's 18 nations according to the bible okay so it says for nation shall rise against nation so nation rising against a nation that's a race right okay and kingdom against kingdom okay a kingdom against a kingdom so one government all right a kingdom like a you know, a superpower okay against another superpower government and that's world war three all right russia versus america all right iran versus america japan China versus America. All right. Okay. It says, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. So famines and pestilences. As of right now in 2020, there's a pestilence, a plague known as the coronavirus. That's sweeping all across the world. That's a pestilence. That's a plague. We're living in the last days. It says, and earthquakes in diverse places. And there's a lot of earthquakes that just pop up around the world, right? That keep frequently happening. It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. So this is just the beginning of the end of this age, not the world of this age. And though the end of this age is going to go about by fire, because America is going to be destroyed with nuclear fire, ICBM nuclear missiles, the Lord's fury. Who the world calls Jesus Christ, real name Yahweh Shai, the holy angels, so called UFOs, which are really chariots of Israel, devices that angels write in. This would be a very terrible time that's coming to America for the wicked people who are not following the guidelines of the universe, the guidelines of the scriptures, all right? And other parts of the globe are going to get really jacked up as well due to the most high's fury and his wrath okay so we're living the last days so back to genesis 49 in verse let's go to the point for joseph okay genesis 49 verse 22 joseph is a fruitful bow even a fruitful bow by a well whose branches run over the wall, okay? So when it says Joseph, all right, it's talking about, okay, Ephraim, all right? So let's get that real quick. This is Numbers chapter 1 and verse 32. It says, of the children of Joseph, okay? Namely, the children of Ephraim, okay? All right, so Ephraim. Namely of the children of Ephraim, so-called Puerto Ricans, like I said, 
Ephraim being the tribe of Puerto Ricans. Okay. Because Joseph was a father, okay, of the, his son Ephraim and his son Manasseh. Okay. Manasseh being Cubans. All right. So let's talk about Ephraim. Okay. In Genesis 49 and verse 22, it says, Joseph is a fruitful bow. Okay. And like I said, fruitful being having a lot of children, having a lot of kids. It says, Joseph is a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by a well. Okay. And a well, okay, it has water in it. All right. And the land, the, the, um, I, the, the, Slaki, the land of Puerto Rico, okay, is known for having very pleasant, all right, water and like tropical water. Okay, like a tropical oasis. Okay. If you check out Puerto Rico's tropical water, right, you'll see these beaches. Okay. Pleasant water. That's way better than a lot of these beaches in America. Okay. You got a lot of people who can actually live off the land in Puerto Rico. Okay, grab um fruits all right from the trees and actually live there. Not worry about all the GMOs and genetically modified um, things that are pro that are brought in America. Okay, so pleasant land. All right. Let's see, by a well. Okay, and a well has water, so pleasant water. Okay. Let's go back. All right, Genesis forty nine and twenty two. Even a fruitful bow by a well, whose branches run over the wall okay so when it says whose branches run over the wall it's talking about so-called puerto ricans all right being the first besides all right judah okay the tribe of judah being negroes to predominantly come to the americas okay you had it right in the 19 mid 19th century okay puerto ricans who will come up to new york all right in the east coast all right so that's why you have a lot of Puerto Ricans in New York, in Pennsylvania, all right? You have a lot of Puerto Ricans in um in the East Coast, okay? And all over, all around America, all right? But predominantly, they came to New York, all right, during the mid-1900s, all right? So it says whose branches were over the wall. That's what that means, okay? It says the archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him okay these archers are the conquistadors okay the archers who are the enemy so-called europeans it says have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him okay the so-called white man hating you so-called puerto ricans because he is your enemy okay he's not your friend just because um just because his skin is light it doesn't mean he's your friend and he's your enemy. No, it doesn't mean he's your friend. He's actually your enemy, okay? Having skin like a so-called white man, all right? Having that pink flesh, okay? That's leprosy according to the Bible, all right? That's not a good trait from the Heavenly Father that he gives to people. That's leprosy according to the Bible, okay? And of course, a lot of Puerto Ricans, you have that skin color, right? Due to a lot of mixing, Right from the conquistadors and, of course, um, the tribe of Ephraim, you so-called Puerto Ricans. Okay. So, next precept, all right, is Hosea chapter 9 and verse 13. It says, Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place. But Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. Okay. It says, Ephraim, so you so-called Puerto Ricans. It says, as I saw, Tyrus is planted in a pleasant place. In Puerto Rico, it's a pleasant place, like I was just speaking about. Tropical water, all right, you can live off the land, okay? It's, um, it's not a lot of, as much chemtrails that's in America, okay? Chemicals being sprayed in the air, all right? It's a pleasant place. It says, but Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer, okay? So you wicked Edomites, conquistadors, all right? Slayed a lot of Puerto Ricans, 
And that's real history. Okay. Bring his shall bring forth his children to the murderer. Okay. So next precept is gonna be Genesis chapter 48 and verse 13. Okay. And this is a blessing that Israel okay gave unto Ephraim and Manasseh. Okay, Joseph's sons, all right. And Ephraim got the um the top blessing, okay, the principal blessing over his over his older brother Manasseh, when Manasseh is the older, is the eldest, okay? This is Genesis 48 and verse 13. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim in his right hand, toward Israel's left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand toward Israel's right hand, and brought them near unto him. And Israel stretched out his hand and laid it upon Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his and his and his left hand upon Manasseh's head, guiding his hands wittingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. So Manasseh being the firstborn, supposed to get, the, of course, the chief blessing, all right? Because that's how his, like, customs, all right, went. It says, and he blessed Joseph and said, Yahweh before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac did walk, and Yahweh which fed me all my life long unto this day. The angel which will redeem me from all evil, blessed lads, and let my name be named on them. The name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And when Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim, it displeased him, and he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head onto Manasseh's head. Okay, so Joseph was displeased. Because he saw, of course, Jacob's right hand on Manasseh's head. Okay. And he saw the left on Ephraim's. Okay. He wanted to remove it. Okay. He said, And Joseph said to his father, Not so, my father, for this is the firstborn. Put thy right hand upon his head. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son. I know it. He also shall become a people. Okay. So Manasseh, he will become a people. And he also shall be great. So, of course, so-called Cubans being a great people. But truly his younger brother, which is Ephraim, so-called Puerto Ricans, shall be greater than he. And his seed shall become a multitude of nations. All right. You got Puerto Ricans, all right, all across America. Okay. You got um, a lot of Puerto Ricans are known for having a lot of sex, having a lot of children. Okay. So there's a lot of so-called Puerto Ricans. Okay. And Ephraim being the head tribe of uh, the northern kingdom. The northern kingdom being you, you Hispanics, all right, and Native Americans. Ephraim's the head tribe, so called Puerto Ricans, okay? So let's get some more. This is Psalms 127, verse 3. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward, okay? As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full, quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Okay? So having a lot of children, okay, is good. All right? It's a reward. Okay? Well, of course, in this society, all right, being cursed as it is light, okay, it's a, it's a very big burden. All right, but in the kingdom of heaven, having a lot of children is, is going to be, a, of course, a blessing, a good thing. Okay, having a lot of children back in the ancient world, all right, when things were more at peace and there was not curses that specifically targeted the nation of Israel, okay, it was good to have large families, okay. All right, it's not a bad thing. It's not, you're not supposed to just have one child. Well, you're not, it's not, if you have one child, it's not like um, if you have. It's good to have many children, okay. It's not a bad thing, okay, because the so-called white man, he he, his rules, okay, of you just limiting to yourself, like just have one kid, just have two, have three, okay. He promotes it as a, like um, like you're addicted to sex if you have a lot of children, okay. 
But the thing is, if it, when you have children, it feels good on purpose so you can keep having children. All right. So when you have sex with a woman, it feels good on purpose so you can keep having children. That's the, the most high wants nature is to be fruitful and multiply. OK, being fruitful, having a lot of children and multiplying, having a lot of population. OK, because Israel is going to be like the sand of the sea in the kingdom of heaven. There's going to be a lot of Israelites. OK, because we're going to be under the blessings, not the curses. OK, so it's a low children are a heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. All right. So let's get some more on Ephraim specifically. This is Hosea chapter 7, verse 8. Ephraim, he have mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Okay. So it says Ephraim has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Okay. And if you go to a, if you have like, if you make pancakes, all right, and you're burning on a, on a, a skillet, whatever, all right. And you're doing one side first. One side of it's dark, okay. And of course, on the other side, it'll look more like this, okay. Light, all right. Like this side, okay. Light. And Puerto Ricans are known for having a lot of light-skinned Puerto Ricans, and then dark-skinned Puerto Ricans, and then some mid-shade brown skin, all right. Because it's due to a lot of mixing with those wicked conquistadors, all right. But all tribes are known for having different shades okay you got dark-skinned negroes all right then you got light-skinned negroes okay of course a lot of the majority of the negroes are so-called brown skin and dark skin but you have the light-skinned ones okay majority of puerto ricans may be light-skinned okay um what this world called tan okay but of course you have dark-skinned ones as well okay so ephraim has mixed himself among the people all right he's a cake not turned Okay, you have both sides to it, dark skin and light skin. All right, but of course there's still Israelites at the end of the day. Okay, because Israel is like a speckled bird. All right, there's still Israelites. All they have to do is you have to have faith and believe in the Most High. You have to be a, drawn to spiritual, high-powered spiritual things. Okay, and that's His word, because no other heathen is gonna believe this hundred percent doctrine and have faith and keep pushing it, pushing it. All right. OK, believe that the Lord and Savior is a so-called uh, Negro man, so-called black man. OK, which I'm going to get later. All right. But next precept. Hosea 4 and 17. Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. OK, so Ephraim is joined unto idols. You so-called Puerto Ricans are known for just worshiping a lot of vain idols. Worshiping, having um necklaces of a cross on your um around your neck, okay. Having um all these statues of um Jesus Christ, who's a so who you think is a so called white man with long um brown um um stringy hair, okay. For having all these statues at your house, okay. That's what Puerto Ricans are known for. That. Okay. All right. If you check out Puerto Rican religion on Google, the first thing that will come up is it will say Roman Catholic. Okay. Roman Catholic Church. All right. Which is not the heritage the most I want you to follow. Okay. And the Roman Catholic Church, they're known for having images, of course, like this. Okay. Statues of angels, babies who are white people flying naked. Okay which is not biblical, okay? This is not the true depiction of the Most High Son. This is not the true depiction of the only begotten Son, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. This is not the, this is not the guy, all right? Okay, it's just the Most High, this is leprosy according to the Bible, like I kept saying, that pinkish flesh, that pink flesh, okay? So the Most High didn't give his son leprosy, Okay. That man, all right, who the world thinks is Jesus Christ, he was actually a man who walked the earth. Okay, and his name was Cesar Borgir. Okay. 
He was painted so he can be, all right, the image of Jesus Christ. But he's not actually the man who walked on water, who actually healed people, okay? Who cast out devils, okay? Who was put on the cross to die for the elect nation Israel's Israel, okay? And ultimately all Israel. He wasn't, this is not the guy. Okay, this is not the guy. You Puerto Ricans need to break out this spell. Okay. If you check up Cesar Borgia, okay, let's say Cesar Borgia was Italian politician and con condotatario whose whose fight for power was a major inspiration from the prince by the Machiavelli. Okay. Says he was an illegitimate son of Pope Alexander the Sixth. Okay. So during the Renaissance period, okay. This man was painted, right, so he can be the son of the Most High, okay? When he's not, okay? Who you call Jesus Christ, real name being Shai. this is a more accurate depiction of what he will look like according to the Bible, which is the truth. Which is the truth. The King James Version and the Apocrypha, okay? You see right here. The real image of Jesus Christ according to the Bible, according to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 13, and Daniel chapter 10 and verse 5. He will look like a so-called dark-skinned Negro man, okay? That's what he will look like, okay? Having, having very, very, very dark skin, okay? Dark bronze, all right? Not looking like the, the idols that's all in your house, okay? So, you Puerto Ricans need to wake up, all right? Because the Lord and Savior is coming back. He's coming back to save the elect of the nation Israel. But he's also coming back to put a lot of people to death, okay? So, this is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time... That now is a high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Okay? So it's a time to wake out of sleep. Okay? Wake up to the lies of this world. The elites have a new world order. Okay? To persecute you Israelites, so-called black Spanish Native Americans. All right? The elites who rule this world, Rothschilds, Rockefellers, elite banking families, they were what you would call so-called Caucasians, Edomites, your enemy. Okay? And they're coming down on wrath soon. This coronavirus, okay, is just a beginning of lots of things to come, which is the Most High's judgment. So you need to trust in the Most High, okay, with all your soul, so you can seek salvation. Through faith, belief, and confidence. And how are you going to have a lot of that? By the actions, what you put in now during this grace period. Because the Lord died for the elects, for the elect to receive salvation. And only the elect are going to hearken unto that message. Okay? So this is Matthew 3 and verse 2. And saying, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom that you can actually be in peace. Alright? And not worry about these other heathen nations messing up your life. Okay? So you won't worry about being cursed. No more pain. Alright? No more sorrow. No more crying. Okay? That's the kingdom of heaven for the nation of Israel. So repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Change your mind. Transform. Follow the law, statute, commandments of the Bible. And there's more than ten commandments. Okay? The doctrine of great millstone, which has 100% truth. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy power require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways. So it's to fear him. Fear is the beginning of wisdom. Okay? So fearing the Most High. Knowing he can bring extreme terror to you if you don't listen to him. Okay? That's what you Puerto Ricans need to do. And stop being a silly mind frame just partying and bullshitting. Just like all the tribes. Okay? Just thinking nothing can happen to me because you're, you're a Puerto Rican. Okay? Well, the Most High is going to bring terror to majority of you Hispanics. All right. So if you want to 
have Most High's protection, okay, you need to serve him the right way. It says, And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy power require of thee but to fear the Lord thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul. Okay? So to serve him. And loving him is just not saying you love him. It's following his commandments. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. Okay? So, actually, through the spirit, let's get that real quick. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. It says, for this is the love of Yahweh. Okay, so if you really love the Heavenly Father, if you really love His Son, this is what you will do. For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Okay, so grievous meaning they're not hard. They're not a burden. They're not a burden that that's going to overweigh you and it's impossible to do. Okay. So seek ye the Lord while he may be found. All right. So the tribe of Ephraim, you, you Puerto Ricans. Okay. So Lord, Lord willing, this view is edifying to the elect the nation of Israel. All praise, honor, and infinite glory goes to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. By Hashem Rakakadash, utter parent claim, it goes to America, which is due. And Shalom goes to the elect of the nation of Israel, Yasharallah. Shalom.